The next cowl in the Beyond the Double collection is the Storm Cowl, and the Storm Cowl is a, is a textured cowl pattern. It combines some half double crochets and front and back post double crochets to create this fun alternating texture. So we're going to look at how to do it. So your pattern says to make a slip knot in chain 25 stitches, so I've gone and done that, and now we're going to jump right into the pattern repeat. So the first row, we do a CSS and then double crochet across. CSS stands for a chainless starting stitch, and this is the first row um, of the pattern. Um, when we get to the other pattern repeats, when we come back around to this row, this will be a little easier to do. but um, doing the chainless starting stitch directly on the chain is exactly the same. You just extend your loop on the hook, you yarn over with that loop, and then you just put your double crochet, your hook, into that first chain. And then we just do a double crochet. It's a little bit difficult doing it directly on the chain, but like I said, you only have to do it once like this, and then the next time you do the chainless starting stitch, you will do it on regular, on directly above another double crochet, so it'll be a little bit easier. So we do the CSS, and then we're just going to double crochet in every stitch across this row. One stitch in every chain. So I finished double crocheting across the entire row, and that completes row run. Now we're going to go on to rows two through four. Now the storm cowl is a pattern repeat of seven rows, but rows two through four, they're done exactly the same. So I'm going to turn my work, and I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to do one half double crochet. And now I'm going to do my pattern repeat, which is a front post double crochet, then a back post double crochet, all the way to the last two stitches. To do a front post double crochet, we are going to yarn over just like with a regular double crochet, but instead of putting our double crochet in the next stitch under this leg here, this V, we're not going to put it there. We're going to do it around the front, going from back to front of this post, of this the post of the stitch, not into the stitch like regular, but actually around this post. And how we do it is we go, we insert our hook just around that post, and this creates a front post double crochet because we're pushing this post to the front of our work. And we're just going to grab our yarn and pull it up and complete our double crochet. That was a front post double crochet, and now we're going to do a back post double crochet. And the concept is the same. We're going to yarn over just like with a regular double crochet. We're just going to put it, the double crochet, around this post, pushing this post to the back. So for the front post, we went like this. For the back post, we're going to go like this, pushing that double crochet to the back of our work. And we just yarn over and we just pull up the loop and complete our double crochet. And this alternating back and front post double crochet is what creates that texture in the storm cowl. It creates this bumpy texture. So we're just going to repeat front post double crochet, back post double crochet, all the way across to the last two stitches. Front post. back post. So I made it to the last stitch of the row, and on the last stitch of the row we're just going to do 
one half double crochet right in our top stitch here right into the stitch regular this is our chainless starting stitch from the first row so we just do one half double crochet in that stitch and that's what you repeat for rows two through four you do a chain one half double crochet then front post back post double crochet all the way to the end and that's rows two through four now i'm going to skip right ahead to row five um to the second part of the pattern we have in the storm cowl we have this texture section and then we have this plain section and the thing about these two textures the texture section um, comes in a little bit because of the texture our stitches are closer together and it makes this nice texture but when we go right to half double crochets um, it can make it wider so we have to actually do some decreases to make this panel the same width as this part and then we have to increase back out before we start this texture repeat again and I'm going to show you how to do that so let's just pretend on my swatch that I did rows two through four. I repeated this texture pattern and then I'm on row five. Chain one, turn my work, and I'm gonna do one half double crochet. And I'm gonna half double crochet two together. And how to half double crochet two together, I just yarn over, I go into a loop, and I pull it up like a regular half double crochet, but instead of going to complete this stitch, I'm going to yarn over again and pick up another loop. So I essentially have two half double crochets on my hook. And now I'm just going to yarn over and pull through all of these loops. I have two, four, five loops on my neat hook and just pull through all of them. And that creates a decrease. That's how to do a decrease in half double crochet. And now row five, I have to half double crochet to the last three stitches where I will do another decrease. I'm at the last three stitches of the row, so I'm going to do a half double crochet two together again. Yarn over, pick up a loop, yarn over, pick up another loop, yarn over, pull through all five loops on hook. And then I just end the row with a regular half double crochet. And what that decrease does is it brings in our work a little bit so we can work this plain section without it being a bit wider than our texture section. And now row six is just a plain row. We chain one, we have to crochet across, and then row seven, we have to get ready to work this texture section again. So we actually have to increase our stitch count back out again. So we're gonna do some increases. So let's pretend I worked row six and we'll just go right to row seven. I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna do a half double crochet in the first stitch. And then I'm gonna do a half double crochet increase. So I'm just gonna work two half double crochets in the next stitch just work it in the same stitch two stitches in that same stitch and that'll bring our work our stitch count back to what it was so we can work the texture section again so I work one increase here and then I'm going to work one over here and then I'll be ready to start my pattern repeat again and those are all the techniques you need to be able to work the storm cowl pattern